TK man for my first new for episode 53 of Dragon Ball Super. Now last week they did a show episode, like it took a break off. That was like the first break since they started back showing Dragon Ball, you know. So Dragon Ball Super episode 53. The episode is titled Explode I mean Expose Black's True Identity. So of course um Goku and Weez and Lord Beerus was hitting to universe ten on the last episode, and that was the episode when Trunks basically went to go visit Go on, you know. So they finally make it to the um, Universe 10. Um, before that, they was basically like showing the guy who they believe is black. Um, he's basically um, a Supreme Kai in Universe 10. You know, he's basically a pupil of the, I guess the the oldest Supreme Kai there, or the the Grand Supreme Kai. I don't know the upper, wherever tops the regular Supreme Kai, you know. Um, and he's, he was having a conversation with him, he was like, don't you think it's pointless of, um, protecting these humans? Like, why are we protecting them? They keep repeating the same mistakes. They keep going to war and repeating the mistakes and whatnot. And, um, the guy, like, that's his, that his, that his, his mentor or master is telling him, like, to, um, they're worth protecting and yada, yada, yada. But um, anyway, Goku and them arrives, and um, you can tell that this guy, I believe his name is um, Zama's, I think I got his name already, Zama, Zamamasu, I think, I think that's, that was the guy's name, that um, the, the Kai person, you can tell that he, he um, hates humans, like off, just off of that little conversation right there. But they arrive, um, Goku is eager as ever, you know, he's feeling on the guy and whatnot. And um, basically wants to fight on me. You know, he tells him I want, I want to fight you. He ain't, he don't, he ain't like come out and say like, you're black. You're the guy who's black or something like that. You know, he was just, he was just like, I want to fight you or whatnot. And the guy was, he's like he's treating him like he's a king or something. He's like, get your filthy hands off me like he's a peasant or something. You know? But um, on his master like, no, fight him. They hope I hold back. And then Lord Beer was like, no, don't hold back or I'll kill you. And the the, um, the dude's master or mentor, he's surprised that Goku is um basically basically um with him or I forgot. Yeah, he says he's surprised that Goku is um with Beer Beerus with him because um they mentioned that he fought Goku. I mean, yeah, they mentioned that Goku fought Lord Beerus. And he's like, how is this human um still alive? You know. Because Beerus has got a stretch and no one's really not. And some other guy maybe have a chance to beat him, but no regular person can beat Lord Beerus. Well, Goku didn't actually beat Lord Beerus, of course, but he he was up there with him. Um, but um, they have a little a little fight, a little um, quick fight. I'll say probably like two, three minutes long, maybe. Um, this black, I mean, the guy that they believe is black. I'm just gonna keep some calling black because I don't, I've got to do real name. But he was basically like um he basically uses some kind of technique. Like he was he like he waited for Goku to strike then he did like some kind of dodging move or whatnot so I mean he was about to like try to one hit KO Goku basically and Goku Well why I'm just driving the battle for just watch the battle scene. I'm not good at striving battle scenes. <laughs> but basically Goku gets the upper hand on him and um the guy like uses some type of move and he sits the same Kai or Ki that Goku I mean my bad that Goku I mean why keep saying Goku that black was using the Kai that black was using he sensed it when the guy was using this certain move and Beerus and Lee sensed it as well but yeah Goku had beat him um he beat him in Super Saiyan form by the way but yeah he had beat him and um the guy was so disappointed in himself he's like I have now learned more about humans who sent to himself or whatnot. But um, in it, besides the fight and stuff and whatnot with Goku and them, um, Trunks had a little scene with um Krillin, cause like he still you know, well he was trying to come in about um his encounter with Gohan. Now me the Gohan since all this time has passed by, and then um eighteen comes in the room. He's like, well first he's asking like Krillin the question like, are you married too? Cause Krillin mentioned he had a kid. 18 watts in, he's ready to fight her and stuff like that. 
but currently no tells on that what happened. Like he, he's married to her, uh, that's his wife and that's his daughter and stuff like that. You know, eighteen was like joking with him stuff. Talking about, I heard you killed me in the future. Or, you know, or in your world, and she's like. You know, 18, she always trying to get some money on, on this, like, super anime. She was trying to get some money, like, I mean, like, on the first, like, couple episodes, she was trying to, um, find ways to get, like, a lot of money, stuff like that. So she was joking around with him, talking about, like, I think you should pay me, like, like condolences for killing me in your future and whatnot. Um, they had, like, a funny scene with future Trunks, kid Trunks, <clears throat> my peel off and the dog dude. And, um, basically, Pilaf is now plotting to get Mai close to Trunks. Like, they was trying to get him close to future Trunks, though. But it's like they kind of plot, I guess, the plot to success. Because I guess they guess Mai will become rich or something. And Pilaf would be like bandwagon off there or something, I guess. They had, like a funny scene right there. Um, Kid Trunks is trying to. Um, uh, Kid Trunks, he's acting, he had a very out of character, but it was funny, a little funny scene right there. Oh, uh, I think episode was a good, entertaining episode. We got a fight scene, we got some comedy, got some more information about this character. This character, they believe, is black. They didn't um, beat him up on the wall. Goku, like, they had a little sparring match and whatnot, but they just left after that. Um, <clears throat> they're going to look further more into that. And I think they're going to visit early universes as well. Just to be sure, but they pretty sure that is that guy is on um, black. You know, um, this like a preview. This guy is about to get a, the ring of time now, and they actually checked up on that in the early episode. But they showed a the preview, like he's gonna get one now. But he didn't know nothing about it until they mentioned it on this episode. So <sighs> yeah, it's about to, it's some some something's about to happen. He's about to get that ring of time. They showed a little preview for it. Um, Trunks is about to get into some training on the next episode with Vegeta. He's gonna finally see that um, Super Saiyan Blue form. Kind of like Goku with them have showed that off to Trunks yet, so he's gonna see that form. Yeah, it's about to be an interesting episode, y'all. Yeah, see the crazy hairstyle. It ain't crazy hairstyle, but I'm getting my Afro back next week, y'all. See my crazy Afro. Gotta know y'all missing it. But anyways, thank you for tuning in for my review. I appreciate those who tune in every Sunday and check out my review for Dragon Ball Super. I said this is episode 53. It was titled Exposed Black's True Identity. But on TK, thanks for tuning in. You can follow me on Twitter at TK Rodoris Card. Subscribe to me to keep updated my most recent videos and do trade reactions, weekly reviews, this stupid car ride by. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, subscribe, check out my videos if you want to. But until next time, I'm out. Peace. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.